In this video, I'm going to finish mounting the front axle to the spring. I'm going to work on making some of the mounting hardware for the hairpins. And I also have an announcement to make. I recently made a Macro Machines Instagram account. I know that the one video a week hasn't been enough for a lot of people. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the snapshots of the stuff I'm working on throughout the week. And I'll try to post there very regularly. The account name is Macro Machines with two spaces in between Macro and Machines. So if you give that a follow, you can see what I'm doing um, throughout the week. So enjoy the video.
All right, so I've been making a lot of good progress on this front end here. I have the axle now mounted to the spring. You saw I made some bushings for in here. I made the brass bushing for this one and for the actual spring. I used that plastic bushing material just because I found that lying around and I didn't have any more, any more brass. Um, so that'll probably just be temporary. I'll probably make an actual brass bushing for that um, later on, but it works good for now at least. The other thing I did up here was I added this gusset to the outside of these bat wings here just to add more strength because this is pretty thin it's only a quarter inch I probably should have gone with three eighths but it is what it is so that would add a lot more strength there and make it so that this won't bend when the as the suspension is flexing and I tried to give it some curves there to make it flow nicely which I think it does so I'm happy with how that turned out and that should work really well so now that this is done, well, this, the front part of the axle here is done, I can work on making the hairpins that I've been talking about forever but haven't actually done anything with. Um, so those will go from these two holes here and then mount back to a single point somewhere in the frame here. And I took these original Ford tie rod ends um, from, the, from the other axle that I have and I cleaned them up. They clean up really nicely as you can see here. And these are over 80 years old and they have that a beautiful vintage look to them which I really really like. Um, so these ones will be the rear mount for the hairpins which will be somewhere about here on the frame. And then for the front I've been making these these clevises I guess is what they're called and then these will go onto those holes just like that. Um, this will be threaded here just like that's threaded right there and that will be that will be how they mount. I have some 7 8 tubing coming that I'm going to make the hairpins out of. The outside diameter of these of the front part of the clevis up here is also 7 8 so that should give a nice even look to it. So once that tubing comes in, I can actually start making the actual hairpins. I don't know if that'll be in in time for next video. Um, if it's not, I'll work on something else probably. Maybe we do something on the rear end over here. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, I'm excited to get the, those hairpins in and start making those because one, once I get those in, then I'll have the front end really solid and mounted up. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.